Today, we are discussing and reviewing the different options growers have for fabric grow pots. The idea behind these types of pots is they're breathable, provide superior drainage, and allow the roots to self-prune or air prune, rather than circle around and get uh, root bound, as happens in uh, hard containers like plastic containers. What the main differences are between these pots are mainly three things. The thickness and quality of the fabric that's being used, the design of the pot, the shape and how they incorporate handles, the quality of the construction, uh, what's the stitching like, are there attributes that might make one pot stronger, more durable, or more useful to the uh, growth. The first we're gonna talk about is uh, the Smart Pot brand transplanter model. This is perhaps the most basic uh, pot in the group. It's black felt, which actually feels the thinnest out of any up here. This is designed especially for transplanting. It sort of explains a split that we see here on the side, which allow for a plant to kind of be removed. It's actually a pretty flimsy pot, uh, and the way the split is built into the pot, it causes the pot to lose its shape uh, easily. No handle. Kind of thin, but kind of smart pot, very popular. Uh, the second pot is the Fat Sack brand, and it's, this is their transplanter model. This Fat Sack transplanter is really nice. Pretty heavy duty thickness of the fabric, and the stitching and construction and quality is much better than all the other pots up here. Top, these pots are actually folded over and triple stitched. This allows the pot to hold its shape better, and especially once it's filled with uh, your choice of growing medium cocoa, potting soil, works great handles on the side here to make moving the pots around much easier. So this fat sack transplanter would make a great choice for any grower, but what makes it extra nice is their transplanter design. The fat sack has a Velcro seam here on the side. This would allow the grower to just completely release the plant from this pot. Exactly what we would need for transplanting applications. A uh, smart thing they have done here is that the seam is not right at the connection point. The fat sack construction has a sort of extra fabric here, which is going to keep the Velcro seam much cleaner. The third pot, this is the Geopot brand uh, and their transplanter model. It feels a little softer than the other pots I have here. It's similar in thickness to the fat sack, but this Geopot fabric might not be as strong. This seam is right at the junction of the fabric coming together. It's more apt to getting some soil in here and maybe getting clogged a, a bit with the soil. Also similar to the fat sack, it has a folded over top piece, but uh, it's single stitch versus triple stitching on the fat sack. There are no handles on the geopod either. It also has a square bottom. I think they might be trying to make it square, but it's just a little different than I thought I'd mention the square bottom. The next pot is the uh, root pouch. It's a real basic model, uh, nothing here designed for the transplanting aspect. Feels a bit thicker than this thin stuff on the smart pot. Same fold over top. The stitching is kind of weird on these ones. Number one, it's, it's just single stitch and uh, the stitch spacing is really kind of wide and actually kind of loose. They are made from recycled plastic water bottles, so it's a good feature of the root pouch. The next pot we're going to go over is the standard smart pot. The fabric is actually pretty thin and there's no fold at the top to keep to help keep it shape and there's no handles. I think a lot of people buy these uh, smart pots because uh, that's what I need, a smart pot. That's you know uh, what they search for, that's what they find. I really think if the grower was smart, they would be watching this video and learning what's up. Our sixth pot we're going to look at is branded as the Grow Pro. The fabric is kind of middle of the road thickness and maybe about the same as the root pouch. It, doesn't really have a folded over edges, but it has this extra stitching, and I imagine that might help it to keep its shape a uh, little better, uh, not as much as a fold over would. There's no handles on this one, and that's the Grow Pro. The seventh pot we're going to look at here is the uh, Fat Sack Basic Model. I would say the fabric on this is similar to the Grow Pro and the Root Pouch. Uh, no fold over at the top, but it does have some nice handles, which uh, if you've grown in these kind of pots, is a really nice feature. This basic fat sack is by far the lowest price fabric row pot uh, in this comparison. The eighth pot we have here is the Dirt Pot brand. Again, this is a basic model. The fabric is, is pretty thin and flimsy, similar to the Smart Pot. No handles and uh, no fold over at the top. Does have the stitching here. What is a bit troubling about this pot is that it seems to be the one that is put together with the least amount of care. Pretty shoddy workmanship. The seams don't quite match up. This one has a little thread hanging out the end. My least recommended uh, out of all these uh, fabric grow pots, just because of that. Finally, I want to show you how crazy some of these pots can get for some of the bigger growers. The Fat Sack Company has sizes that range from 1 gallon, 2 gallon, 3 gallon, 5 gallon, 7 gallon, 10 gallon, 15 gallon, 20. Check out this 25 gallon size here. Up to 65 gallons. These things get huge. Imagine the tree you can grow in this thing. All the way up to uh, 100 gallon. We even have 200 gallon sizes of these things. Super thick, super stitched up, uh, just great quality. 
Uh, we even have uh, tray liners, two by four, three by three, four by four, and four by eight. Well, that's it for now. Hope I've given you some information that you can use to make your garden grow the best it can. As always, we're here to help at HCD Supply. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But of course, visit any of our HCD Supply retail stores and the pros there will get you growing or visit us online at htgsupply.com. Thanks. Bye.